Coming up right now, dancing with a mascot landed one principal in an awkward spot oh right at the start of a new school year. Also coming up, a customer loses it and throws a plate at a waitress. What? Wait until you hear what the police did following the call for help. A little bit later on, a passenger pulls up. Uh, Don't you know who I am after boarding a flight and refusing to sit in? Coach will tell you who's under that hat coming up. Goodness, Daily Flash starts right now. Get ready for trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash with your host, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. The fun starts right now. This is Daily Flash. Hi everyone, I'm Andrea Jackson. And I am Mitch English. This is Daily Flash for your Thursday. Man, we love having you here. We, sure we also do. love having old Maddie Doolittle hanging Hi, out Maddie. with us. Matt, how are you over there? Good. Uh, so my wife's introduced me to a show I didn't watch when it was out the first time. Uh, she's got me watching X-Files. Oh, she's good, man. She's going back show. through. Yeah. And uh, what I've realized, every episode is the same. Something creepy happens. David Duchovny finds it out. The uh, 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 Scully doesn't believe him. Then they figure it out, and then all the evidence gets destroyed. One hundred percent. It's same a, a conspiracy. Yeah. Same thing. Every episode. And it was on for what? Ten years. Yeah, like ten or eleven <laughs> episodes. It's <laughs> out. Without the X Files, we would not have had Breaking Bad as good as it is because that Vince Gilligan decorated with Brian, Ke Brian Cranston. Cranston as a he was a guest spot, mm -hmm. and he's like, yes. "This guy's got something," and he wound up using him because he had worked together. On, that on is proof you never know <laughs> who you work with and how that could affect your future mm -hmm. in Hollywood later is years. Very incestuous. It is. That is you, true. Be, be cool wherever you have. That's our one advice if you're going to yeah. make it in Hollywood. Oh, what's that saying? Be mindful of the. The, the butts that you kiss because uh, you, yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> you may be kissing because you may be kissing them on, on the way, way down. My dad said it's like be careful who, who you step on your way to the top. You're going to need them on the right. Yeah, down. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So check this out. This lady decided she was going to try and figure out a way to get back at package thieves, right? Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah. she decides she's going to mail packages to herself at her P.O. box because somebody kept stealing her mail. Inside one of the packages, she put an Apple Air tag. Ooh. Lo and behold. Her, her mail was stolen yet again. She was able to trace the air tag to a nearby neighborhood. She alerted, she alerted police, they went out. Sure enough, not only did they have her mail and packages, but dozens of other people. They had stolen and ripped off packages and mail checks, you name it. They had a huge fraud oh operation gosh. going on. So she used the Apple air tag to track down you know, these suspects. Now, Apple was, was called to say, hey, what do you think about this? No response yet from Apple, but the question is, if you do this, are you putting yourself at risk if you yourself are going after the thieves? Rather than what this woman, I think, did was smart. She called authorities and well, said, hey. My understanding, too, they're like, well, there's nothing we can do until you find out who's stealing, I would yes. imagine. And that was like, well, yes. here's a lead, at yeah. least. And I'm glad that they uh -huh. did that. Mark Rober, he was the guy who, uh, in, he was the NASA scientist that in, uh, that invented the, the uh, box that people would steal and it would shoot confetti and spray, oh. fart spray. <laughs> and every year he would update you know who I'm talking about yeah, Mark oh Rober? Yeah. this it's guy great. is awesome it's great. I, I'm all for it and they would put cameras in it GPS locators sirens everything and it videotaped the people stealing it and, and catching it and uh, he said the biggest thing that they were I think it was in San Francisco is out west people would just they see a car bust the window steal it so he yep. made one for uh, the back of that way really? and I, I appreciate yeah. it as well and there's a whole industry now that has those locker safes in front of your house because mm -hmm. of, of those packages well good for that lady. Well, it's terrifying too because because now these thieves are getting much more brazen. Not only are they plotting, you know, their next uh, robbery, but they're also following a lot of these delivery trucks around neighborhoods. That could be dangerous. Too, and yeah. getting out and stealing packages. And really, you know, with with Amazon making as much money as it does, and their yeah. policies, really, if somebody steals something, usually they, yeah. they take care of it as, yeah. as well. So that's that's the good news. We move on now to California, where a high school principal could be. On permanent, permanent vacation, vacation, like the Aerosmith's uh, album, <laughs> after a recent pep rally. His name's Robert Nunes. He was caught on camera rolling himself towards the school Viking mascot in an office chair. Okay, well, the dance took a bizarre turn when he <laughs> fired gold confetti at the oh, mascot. Oh, my goodness. He also apparently be dancing in a suggestive manner. Principal then trades places with the mascot. Nunes uh, then appears to place his hands what on the mascot's the chest world? before being surrounded by other students. Look at this, y'all. 
the crowd goes wild and the principal is seen pushing the mascot off of the out of the room on the relent chair. Principal's behavior prompted the high school district to suspend him as they investigate the matter in just a few days into the school year. This is the principal I actually want. Yeah. Uh, this is the guy I want as my kid's principal. <gasps> It's kind of the mascot's fault, too. He, I was, he, he was teasing That's what him. I say. Did he was the mascot him. not get busted for this? Uh, it seems like this would be... It was... Uh, okay, we were told... Oh, was it that she? The, there the was mascot, a, was mascot was a woman? Was it another James? teacher? Do we know? Oh, it so it's speculation that it was a... Okay. okay, so even still, though, uh, there's... Here, it's a pep rally, and, and you know, it probably wasn't planned to say, hey, you'll dance with him. And, you know, he wanted to get the, the kids excited and that sort of thing. And uh, it's sad uh, that that happened. This is a guy that's teaching kids. I, what's wrong? Come I'm on, I'm sorry, have fun. but did you see the confetti? The I, way it shot yeah, out from him sitting on the chair. I think here's what the problem is, Matt. Why I have to hold off hanging out with Matt too often because we say <laughs> because stuff and do confetti? stuff. Well, no, we they well. say and do stuff, and I'm like, we can't do this all the time because we're going to wind up doing it on the air. Yes. Yeah. So that I have a feeling that's what happened with this principal uh -huh. hanging out with his buddies. Got they, caught in the moment. Got, oh my, and forgot. Oh the yeah, I'm been in front of a, a couple times. Kids. I guarantee you. <laughs> yeah. Well, the kids didn't seem to be affected by it or see anything really wrong with it. Oh please, they see worse on TikTok. Oh, I know, they do. That is Come on. Yes, you're right. You're right. It, it's uh, you know, and I hope the guy doesn't lose his job. I mean, it's first off, it's hard to get uh, principals and and teachers to become educators. And I'm sure he's way. a super cool guy. I, I'm I guessing. My vote is to keep him. So yeah. uh, whatever that. Matters. But the problem is, it started at the very beginning of the school year. So now he's either sidelined for the rest of it or they'll figure something out pretty fast. I think it could be a halftime show you can do there maybe. Could, well, Let's see, yes, see about absolutely. that. absolutely. Uh, it turns out the customer is not always right. Sometimes they do stuff that's wrong, like smacking a server in the face with a dinner plate. Well, we must warn you that this video might be upsetting. Here it is, surveillance video from a restaurant in the UK it shows a man grabbing a dinner plate and hitting a waitress across the face whoa. with it. The server had just put dinner on the table for the family of three when the customer grabbed the plate. The waitress is totally stunned in the video, and the family quickly exits the restaurant. As for the police, the waitress said they did nothing following the attack, didn't even bother to look at the surveillance footage. The police department released a statement admitting the complaint was not handled the right way, and an investigation is now underway. There's two sides to every story. I'll get that. But yes. even still, this is a small little girl, looks like, uh, and, and violence is never the answer no. altogether. And, and there's, and then and stage three is there's cameras everywhere. You know, we need to show some kind of decorum. It's sad that that, that violence had to be uh, uh, read that way, but you know, uh, I, we don't know the entire story. I don't think it's right, though. Uh, it's not. I'll take it to another level, though, with, with everything happening in the U.K. right now. If you post a video like that, or if you like it, or you share it, there's a chance that you'd be thrown in jail. Oh, and you're right. Because you may be, you know, uh, on the other side of, you know, the politically correct spectrum. That's a good point, yeah. And then you're serving time for either sharing that video or liking it or asking questions about you're, it. You're adding to the, the propaganda yeah. of, of whatever it is on whatever they might uh, whatever say they think is propaganda, exactly, exactly, right? right? Yet some poor point. woman probably could have been permanently damaged for life. Yeah, sad to see that. Rapper Juvenile is beefing with American Airlines after he claims flight attendants tried to boot him from first class and put him back to coach. The hip-hop star documented his experience on video, shouting, I'm a celebrity, when airline employees confronted him about his seat <laughs> assignment. While Juvenile outright refused, he's not a good camera guy, by the way. No. <laughs> uh, uh, he refused to leave first class. His wife can be heard telling the flight attendants that they are sitting in their assigned seats. Now, the rapper claimed that there would be repercussions because of the disrespect. Juvenile and his wife then proceeded to exit the plane. The rapper later took to social media to document his past history with American Airlines. You know, no matter who he is, if those were his rightful seats, okay, I'll give him that. But I don't think that they, at this day and age, despite what we see on airlines, that they would kick somebody out no. if they didn't honestly know that that's not their seat. It, Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I agree with you. I think it'd be fair to say, what does American Airlines have to say about this story? And, you know, I, I'm with you. I yeah. don't think that they would forcibly try to remove somebody from their assigned seats if, in fact, they were assigned seats in coach. And, or okay. in first class, I'm sorry. And the only people I think, you know, because there are sometimes empty seats, rarely, but sometimes in first class, yeah. give those to soldiers. You know, yes. I just say, man, you know what? We're going to move you up front here if there's an open seat. I'd, I'd be happy. Like if I was on a list to get a first class seat and then yeah. I saw a soldier got instead, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think you should. Now I'm not going to give it up if they give it to me. Do, do we, it, is, yeah. ju is Juvenile a big enough rapper that we should all know who he is? Not Ju since 99. Yeah. Okay. He, yeah. He's been around for a while. 
He, he's actually, uh, uh, he's the No Limit Soldier, is what I've been told. <laughs> and uh, also, he, is, he was juvenile back then, but now he's, you know, he's an adult. adult. Mature. Yeah. And control, <laughs> apparently, is a big thing. I wonder if he just got on and he was rowdy and stuff, and maybe they just asked him to leave or like or something flat See, out again, like that. We, we, don't like yeah, we don't know. We don't know, know what's going That's on. That's the point. Yeah. We don't know until we hear both we sides. You automatically go to social. Is, is it a problem, too, that he's threatening that there will be repercussions? Doesn't that seem like it's a little bit... Mm. Yeah, like, uh, you, what are those repercussions? Yeah, and what are you going to do? Applaud, exactly. Like All right. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Our next guest is Emily Swisher. She is a psychotherapist specializing in equine interventions. Her new book titled Stable is about the healing nature of horses. Emily, welcome to Daily Flash. Hi, thank you so much for having me. So tell us, what is an equine intervention? Of course. So equine intervention is just a broad term that covers a lot of ground. I think by now most people have heard the term horse therapy thrown around, and that can either be a physical or mental health therapist that uses horses as part of an intervention in their treatment modality um, to adaptive riding lessons that are geared towards anyone with a physical or cognitive difference that needs a bit of support. So I actually started my career doing adaptive riding lessons before I moved into psychotherapy and have since expanded into wellness retreats, corporate coaching, and different events here locally in Montana. Emily, give us some more insight into how horses have helped with your own healing process. Absolutely. So stable kind of chronicles not only my career path, but how I fell in love with horses around age 10. And they just happened to be that grounding element for me throughout adolescence. Uh, my teenage years were a bit destructive as I was processing some of my own trauma. And I just think it's important for all of us to have not only the space or this community where we feel supported and accepted for who we are, particularly teenage girls nowadays. So yeah, horses just happen to be that throughout my life. Let's talk about how equine intervention has helped your clients when it comes to reconnecting and, and finding some peace and happiness. Definitely. Um, so I've seen everything from the subtle to the miraculous of um, an impacted adult speaking their very first words from the back of a horse. Um, and I write about this teenage girl in stable. Um, she was coming to us as she was relearning how to walk. She was wheelchair bound due to a chronic pain condition. And after several weeks of riding lessons, she was actually able to start running alongside her horse in the arena kind of with this new motivation, strength, and resilience. Um, so every person that comes to me has a very remarkable and unique set of background. And it can be anyone that's healing from grief or trauma. They come into the barn with this pain that's very heavy. And the barn is just kind of the sanctuary that they can feel at peace. Um, and they can start kind of integrating back into their life and into the world again. Um, I really enjoy working with women who have um, been in an abusive or domestic violence situation and they've ingrained kind of this negative belief system that they're taking up too much space or asking for too much. Um, and horses by nature are very gentle, but they're very large. And so they require a confident and capable leader that can help direct, you know, the body um, appropriately that they're safe around the horses. And so it's very neat to kind of be this interpreter between the horse, what they're telling me with their body language and what the client's bringing into the session. Um, so it's great for adolescents as they're learning that emotional and behavioral self-regulation and awareness that they can then take into school and back into home. So yeah, there's some really unique stories in Stable. I, I love, I've loved horses since I was a, a young child and my parents would never indulge me, you know, in riding lessons or anything like that because of the safety and expense issues as a, as a younger person. But as an adult, I decided to get into it. And it's amazing um, the therapy and the, the freedom and the comfort you feel after a really good lesson at the barn. And, and I've also seen with a lot of the younger girls who are, who are teenagers, if they've got a barn to go to, if they have a lesson or a horse, you know, we call it horse crazies. I'm sure you're familiar 
familiar with, you know, there is a certain motivation that just keeps them in line. They they love that horse. They're going to take on those riding lessons. That's their focus. So it keeps them out of troubles, I guess, for lack of a better phrase. Definitely. And I'm so glad to hear that horses have been an outlet for you and that you finally got your opportunity to ride. Definitely. And, you know, we've seen um, a few people come to the barn, um, some parents who had autistic children. And it's amazing mm -hmm. the connection they have with these horses. They communicate with those horses in a way that they can't communicate on the ground with their parents. Once they're up in that saddle, it's a whole different experience. Definitely. Yeah. Their horses are so accepting and just whatever we bring into the room. And, you know, it's it's great that you've seen that yourself as well. Emily, this has been terrific. Any insight you can share with folks who are a bit nervous around horses that would love to kind of indulge a passion, but um, a little bit, they don't have the confidence? Definitely. So I think there's always this kind of like false belief that horses can read somebody, um, like if you're a good or bad person, so to speak, but truly they're just wanting us to be congruent with our emotions. So if you're nervous, you can just own that of like, Sometimes I speak out loud around horses of like, hey, I'm a little nervous around you, but I'm willing to get to know you. So as long as we're showing up where our emotions and our, you know, body and behavior match what we're feeling, horses feel safe around this. So, um, yeah, there's no need to put on a false front or, you know, confidence if we're not feeling confident in that moment. So just own however you're feeling and they will accept that. They're, they're such great confidence builders. Emily, this has been terrific. Thank you so much for joining us. Of course. Thank you. For more information or to get a copy of Emily's book, Stable, A Therapist and the Healing Nature of Horses, please visit emilyswishercounseling.com. And we'll be sure to have this entire interview on our website at dailyflashshow.com. Stay with us. More Daily Flash in just a moment. This is Tim. Tim is all about time. And if you've ever had a chance to look into Tim's cold, dead eyes, you'll see that it's time for you to follow us on social media. Sure, there's 10,000 social sites out there, and we don't have the time to name them all. Seriously, just ask Tim. So take the time to look for Daily Flash TV on your favorite social sites and start following us. That's all the time, Tim. Goodbye. Welcome back to Daily Flash. Did you know that maintaining good posture helps our overall health and wellness? And that's why for women, wearing the right bra is extremely important. Our next guest is on a mission to celebrate good posture. Please welcome the president of the Foundation for Chiropractic Progress, Dr. Sherry McAllister. Dr. Sherry, welcome. Nice welcome. to see Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Okay. Why is good posture so important for our health? Well, we all know that it increases our confidence, but few actually know that it improves our breathing. It can prevent back pain and it boosts our energy. I believe that. Now, what about the bra? Finding the perfect bra and the right fit, you say, is everything. It really is because when you have the right fit, it actually adds and supports your posture. So there are five questions that I would like your audience to kind of consider okay. when they think about their bra. Okay. Number one, does it dig into the shoulders? Mm -hmm. Question number two, does it leave red marks or indentations? Mm. Mm. Does there um, have a gap between your breast and your bra? Okay. And then potentially is your breast spilling over the front or <laughs> perhaps the side? Oh, the side. Oh, the side. Uh, yeah. Okay. We and got then it. last or second to last is the underwire. Is it poking or pinching? And the last question. Yes. When you turn it around, a very important fact is this back strap. Is it too tight or too loose? Because that will actually make ah. it go up and down and not support great posture. Okay, what about the bra strap? This is the problem I have. I always have one bra strap that always falls down. 
what is going on there? I've adjusted it. I've done everything. What's going on? Clearly, it's my posture. Well, it is. And it's about strength. And oftentimes, we will have a dominant side. Ah. So the dominant side is where the bra strap will stay on. The non-dominant side sometimes doesn't get as much of that tension. Okay. So a bad bra actually causes tension in through your shoulders, up into your neck, and can potentially give you some tension headaches. So, really? Yeah. Okay, so in work environments, many of us are on computers. How do we maintain good posture while at the desk? Because it's easy to fall into that slump. <sighs> it is, and it actually causes tech neck. So the slumping portion of our ergonomics is really we need to check it. So a good seat, right, mm -hmm. that has a nice lumbar support. We want our feet on the ground or maybe on a little bit of a footstool. Knees are approximately 90 degrees or maybe just slightly lower than the hips. And then watch that keyboard. Elbows, ah. elbows need to be at 90 degrees. And then your monitor, it should be two to three inches where your eyes see at. So very important, because our head weighs approximately 10 pounds. Yep. So if you think about tech neck is actually just dropping that head forward and then creating the tension. So with 30 degrees of dropping forward can in fact lead to about 40 extra pounds of wow. pressure. <laughs> I, you, you probably don't, I know, I don't even think about it. I try and keep good posture, but we all kind of get lazy and slump back into it. Many of us have poor core strength that leads to something new called shrimp posture. What is it <laughs> and how can we avoid it? Well, you know, you just said it right. It is shrimp posture. It's ah. getting into that C curve. And if you walk around and start looking at people, you're going to see the shoulders dropping yes. in and the head dropping down. I think one of the big keys to changing your posture is we know practice makes perfect, but with posture, it's practice makes permanent. So we need to start practicing good posture. And one fabulous way that I think your, your uh, audience will really yeah. enjoy is something we do 52 times a day. Okay. Which is picking up our cell phone. Yes. So if you take just a moment before you pick up that cell phone and you practice to make permanent and you think of four words, in, up, back, down. Okay. In, up, back, down. Grab that cell phone. In, elbow comes in, hand comes up, shoulders go back, back. and down. You Ooh. will avoid shrimp posture. Okay, that's terrific advice. What is another tip that you can give to our audience, whether it's for posture, whether it's for finding a good bra or a good work habit uh, that they can do? Very important that we're getting up from our work desk. Mm. And if you can, the potential to actually invest in a sit stand desk yes. is really important because then you're getting the blood flowing, your circulation, plus you're getting up and you'll get less of that brain fog that happens when shrimp posture comes yes. off. <laughs> so, so those are some really good tips. And then when you get up from your desk, maybe find a corner wall, put one hand on the left of the corner and the other hand on the right and just stretch out that upper chest area. And when you sit back down, you'll feel like you just had an energy boost. Oh, that's terrific advice. And when it comes to bras, do you advise getting a bra fitting? Excellent, because our bodies change, yeah. whether we like it or not. <laughs> True. <laughs> and I think just having that moment to give yourself the right fitted bra, yeah. having it fit at a, a nice bra store is really helpful. Very so, good. you know, the potential that if we feel the tension, we want to get a posture exam because we may not know how bad our posture Perfect. is. Perfect. So seeing a chiropractor would be an ideal place to start. Dr. Sherry, thank you. For more information, you head to our website, dailyflashshow.com. This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. Oh, That's the introduction. Hello. You just say your name and that pop. Hello. And I'm, and I'm Mitch English. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I'm Matt Dillon. <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, Matt. I'm trying. <laughs> I don't think he doesn't right. even get a chance right. to say his own name. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, Hulk Hogan. He's got a new beer out. What, you know, it's called Real. What is it, Matt? Real, Real American. It's not good. It really, it's not good beer. Is that good? All right, yeah. it's called Real American Beer. So he's on a campaign now. He's telling everybody about his beer. It's called okay. Real American Beer. He was up in Medina, Ohio. He's at this place called the Thirsty Cowboy, and just like they normally do, kind of like Red Bull and other beverage companies, you know, hey, we're here, Hulk Hogan, and he's throwing stuff. You know, here's oh, beer cans. Okay. Well, catch this, brother. Okay, here you go, brother, and and, and he's throwing Turn beer cans shirt. out. Oh, yeah. Well, this lady's out in the crowd. <clears throat> Apparently, she gets hit in the head with one. Oh, no. Nine stitches. Okay, so it was legit. Okay. But she swears, up and down, it was Hulk Hogan that grabbed this beer and threw it out mm -hmm. to it. So she was obviously lawsuit going of after course. And they go, uh, the cops came, and they look at the video. And she went all the way. Said, no, I saw Hulk Hogan throw it. I saw it come right to me. Come to find out, it was one of his workers. Still, she did get hit, nevertheless, mm -hmm. which, I, which I don't ever think throwing a beer is a good idea. Ever. Stone Cold used mm -hmm. to catch him. What's her problem? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Well, she's not a wrestler. Yeah, so uh, yeah, anyway, so true. we'll see where it comes out from that with his, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to be throwing them out anymore, but significant uh, damage could happen if hit by a, a beer can. So uh, we'll see where real American beer goes. I'm kind of at a point with these lawsuits where I think people should have to pay what they're suing up front before they sue. So that all of these frivolous lawsuits, either you know, they either people think twice about them or they get tossed altogether. I, I agree with you on that, and I, I guess you know our legal it will never happen. Yeah, you know I, I know. But It'll it would be happen. nice yes. because in this day and age, honestly, mm -hmm. you are allowed to sue anybody, anybody for anybody, and there are, are, are lawyers and there are people that mm -hmm. would go after uh, successful companies and say, hey, the, I, it's a copyright. I, I invented mm -hmm. that, and a lot of times, nine times, well, not most of the time, they'll go, we'll just pay we'll just them settle. off. We'll just yeah. settle so it, this doesn't go anywhere. And that almost looks like when you settle, like you're, you're guilty. guilty. And yeah. that's not the case. They just know that oh, we don't want to go through any yeah. legal issues. So it's sad. Looks like though there is going to be one possible legal issue could there happen. could be. A California high school principal could be on permanent vacation oh, no. after a recent pep rally. Robert Nunez was caught on camera rolling himself toward the school's Viking mascot in an office chair. But suggestive on both their parts. The dance took a very bizarre turn <laughs> when Nunez <laughs> fired gold confetti at the mascot, who also appeared to be dancing in a very suggestive manner. The principal then trades places with the mascot, as you see there. Nunez then appears to place his hand on the mascot's chest before being surrounded by other students. The crowd goes wild and the principal is seen pushing the mascot out of the room on the rolling chair. The principal's behavior prompted the high school district to suspend him as they investigate the matter just a few days into the brand new school year. That's awesome. This reminds, <laughs> all right, so my senior year, Miss Blanks, so she was, uh, I think, my English teacher. Anyway, and so they had something similar to Pep Rally, and they, uh, like, you, uh, I don't know, somehow you got to go dance with one of the, the teachers or something, whatever. Okay. I don't know. I ran, and I ran down there, being the obnoxious 17-year-old uh, that I was, and I ran Miss Blanks and everything, and we were like, dance, and then I started, like, you know, I'm trying to get the crowd going yeah. and everything, and so I kind of, like, move in. She's, I could still hear her today, I mean, stop that, stop it now. <laughs> I go, no, Miss Blanks, and I'm like doing, like oh doing all this God. kind of stuff. And it wasn't really bad. I no, wasn't but feeling you on it. Sure. But Mitch, stop it. Stop it. I could still hear it in my ear. No damn cameras. And anywhere. there was no cameras. Yes. Exactly. That's you could true. not do that today. She would have gotten in trouble. And uh, even though I would have been the one that, that, that you, started, you started it. Started it, so. yeah. And you have to, in this day and age, you have to do that sort of thing. It's sad to see it. I like this principal that's playing along. He's probably got, he's a character, I'm it, sure. It probably crossed the line a little bit. The confetti. The confetti. Uh, confetti Come on, the confetti. Uh, Are we, really? If, yeah, that watch was... the video. We'll replay this on our website if you want to see what we're talking about as far as the confetti goes. Just the way he was holding holding it, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah. But we'll give him the benefit of a doubt. Here's the thing. I want that guy, I want that guy to be my principal because <laughs> if I ever got in trouble, I go, oh, really? Yeah. Really? Remember that time? I do remember the one time. Remember that time? <laughs> remember that time you were... Yeah. <laughs> or you pull a confetti thing into his office. Yeah. And like, really? We're doing this? Okay. okay. Why not? All right. I'll we're... see your punishment and I'll raise you a confetti and a mascot. <laughs> I would have gotten straight A's. Oh, yeah, yeah, All yeah. right. We have more Flash coming up right around the corner. If you're watching... Celebrity lifestyle and wellness expert Seema Cohen joins us to share some end of summer must-haves and back-to-school essentials. Seema, you got a lot of stuff right in front of you. I need to let you know that we're heading into the season where I need to start eating healthy and being more healthy. You've got something that's going to help me along the way, right? That's 
That's right, Mitch. Discover Bioma, next generation symbiotic with a three-in-one formula, prebiotics, probiotics, and postbiotics. The scientifically backed gluten-free, non-GMO, and vegan ingredients prevent bloating and digestive issues. Bioma Health boosts your natural gut flora for overall wellness, enhancing mental clarity, stabilizing energy levels, and boosting metabolism. And you can find them at bioma.health. Very nice. And you know, after the summer is over, we're kind of concentrated on our skin. If maybe we had out uh, too much sun or so, you got something that's going to help my face glow, I'm certain, right? I definitely do. As of today, is a clean beauty brand, excluding 35 potentially harmful ingredients for your peace of mind, featuring a clinically proven R peptide from Paris. Their product deliver noticeable skin improvement in two to four weeks, including enhanced hydration. Purchase a capsule essence toner or ampule and receive a complimentary water, water bottle while supplies last. And you can find them at asoftoday.com. I, I love that name too, as of today. That's great. You know, kids are going back to school and they're learning more and more about nutrition, but us as adults, we need to make sure that we're staying healthy and eating the right fruit and vegetables as well. You got something that's gonna help us out. I definitely do. For over a decade, that's it has made getting your daily fruit servings easier with the two ingredient fruit bars. And now they're launching organic energy bars perfect for students and busy parents with flavors like tropical passion and mango lime. These bars combine fruit and real coffee bean caffeine for an espresso-like boost without added sugar. And you can find them at Walmart or that's it, fruit.com. And you got some new options for the end of summer celebrations too. Tell us about that. <laughs> That's right. Try Martini and Rossi Negroni Spagliato, a refreshing twist on the classic drink. Swapping gin for bubbly Prosecco. Perfect for Negroni months in September. This festive cocktail combines Martini and Rossi's Reserva Speciali Rubino, Speciali Bitter, and Prosecco. Just mix over ice, stir, and enjoy this crisp, sparkling Italian classic at your end of summer parties. Sima, you've got everything just in time for back to school and just for time, end of summer. Thanks so much. We'll have more details on our website at dailyflashshow.com. Football season is finally here. We all know game day is more than just what happens on the field. ESPN's Laura Rutledge has teamed up with Honey Baked Ham for the perfect game day spread. You can almost feel it in the air. Fall is just around the corner, and that means it's time to start thinking about your tailgates and your home gates. That's where Honey Baked Ham comes into play to help you out. They have incredible game day spreads. Something to look forward to is this great game day box. This may look like an amazing decoration, and it is, but this is actually what you get when you get the game day box at Honey Baked. There's different options, but you can get sliders as well as sides. You take this box with you. There's so many special things, especially the addition of of pulled pork to the menu. We pulled the fans. They love having ham at their tailgate. They want it there, but everybody loves barbecue too. So they've added that as well as their classics that we've talked about and that you see here. There's so many great options for anyone. It's all about the convenience. It's a one-stop shop. You go to your local Honey Bake store. It's all right there. Check out your local Honey Bake store or go to honeybake.com slash game day. And I would just wish all of you happy home gating and tailgating this year. All right, well, you know, community pharmacies remain a trusted place for people to get vaccinations as well as other services. Anita Patel with Walgreens joins with us right now to give us the latest information on this year's upcoming respiratory illness season. Thanks so much for having me. Every year, flu, COVID, and RSV cause hundreds of thousands of hospitalizations and thousands of deaths during the fall winter sick season. This is why CDC recommends getting vaccinated to help keep you protected against these viruses. With back to school in full swing and fall holiday season just around the corner, 
it's a great time for your family to get their recommended vaccine. As a mom of three, I'm making sure that my family gets the vaccines they need before these viruses begin to circulate. It's also safe to get multiple vaccines at the same time and in the same visit. This makes it super easy and convenient to stay up to date on all the recommended vaccines, including flu and RSV, which are available at Walgreens nationwide now. There's also going to be an updated COVID vaccine soon, and we'll be offering that as well. Once available, this updated vaccine will better protect against newer coronavirus variants that are causing illness. Now, whether you are booking an appointment for yourself, a family member, or someone close to you, your trusted pharmacist is ready to help you navigate towards the appropriate vaccine. Now, in many states across the U.S., we're actually experiencing a COVID summer surge right now. If you have respiratory symptoms such as a runny nose or a cough, consider visiting your Walgreens pharmacist and getting tested. Walgreens offers an easy two-in-one rapid test that tests for both COVID as well as flu with reliable results from your pharmacist in less than 30 minutes. And if you do test positive, in many states, our pharmacists can determine if an antiviral prescription medication is right for you. They can also give you options to treat your symptoms with over-the-counter products. We know immunizations can fall off the to-do list. I'd recommend going to Walgreens.com and scheduling your vaccine appointment now, getting it on your calendar, or if you're in the neighborhood, you can simply go to your local Walgreens and ask your pharmacist to help get you vaccinated. Get vaccinated, get ready for the fall. It's the number one way to protect against respiratory illnesses. Next up, we are talking everything you need for the new fall season with Latina lifestyle creator, Jeanette Kaplan. Hi, Jeanette. Thanks so much for having me. Well, as you were mentioning, back to school season is in full swing and families are trying to figure out the best ways to get everything they need within their budgets. So let the cost of prescription medications be one less thing to worry about by using BuzzRx. It's a free prescription discount card and app service, allowing you to find the most affordable prices for the medications your child needs stocked at home and in their school nurse's office. Now, when back to school shopping, most people are thinking of physical items. But in today's digital age, it's just as important to add cybersecurity to your list to ensure you and your kids are protected online. Today, I've partnered with Norden to share their top recommendations to keep students and parents cyber safe. Starting with protecting the whole family with device security, privacy, and identity solutions. And you can find more information by going to Norton.com. A good probiotic is also super important as we head into the school season. Floristore and Floristore Kids probiotics are your secret weapons this school year. Floristore and Floristore Kids Dual Action Probiotics have the world's number one selling probiotic to help support your little one's digestive and immune health. Floristore's special formula is gluten-free, vegetarian, and non-GMO. It's just a safe, easy to use choice for everyone from young children to adults. And now a beauty must for this time of year because the peak of summer heat is upon us. So it's time to revamp your summer beauty essentials with products that not only make you look good, but protect your hair from humidity and UV rays. And Herbal Essences has you covered. It's no secret that all that summer heat in the air can cause frizz and flyaways. So incorporate the Herbal Essences Hemp Oil Frizz Control Collection into your summer beauty routine to help keep your hair nourished, frizz-free, and lusciously soft. And for those with color-treated hair, the sun's UV rays can actually cause color fading. So you'll want to reach for their Pure Grapeseed Color Nurture Shampoo and Conditioner to enjoy up to four more weeks of vibrant color. As nature's secret color keeper, Grapeseed's antioxidant power offers UV protection against color fading. And with each bottle containing the seeds of up to 86 grapes, your hair color will remain bright with a luscious and free-flowing finish. Hey, are you uh, feeling blue? Don't worry, you're not alone. The automotive world is seeing a surge in the popularity of blue cars. Once overshadowed by classic colors like black, white, silver, blue has actually raced to the forefront. Blue is becoming more popular and it's been that way for some time. Both of these cars are blue, but they're different. This is Kia's Midnight Lake Blue and Volvo's Denim Blue. Both shades of blue, but both dramatically different. There's Volkswagen's Atlantic Blue Metallic. Toyota's Blueprint Blue is attractive. Honda has Canyon River Blue Metallic 
And their diffused sky pearl is a little different. Ford's Grabber Blue has been a thing since the 1960s and is most closely associated with black accents on a Mustang. Remember, some car colors cost more, like Porsche and Bentley custom colors often are tens of thousands of dollars more. The blue on this Kia Telluride adds $500 to the price. Oh, and by the way, gold, orange, and brown are often the least in-demand colors. Animal shelters are currently facing a capacity crisis nationwide. Too many animals, not enough adoptions. Here's Jackson Galaxy with more on this year's Clear the Shelters campaign. 6.5 million animals have entered the, uh, the U.S. shelter system in the past year alone, according to Shelter Animals Count. That's all you need to know. We got to clear the shelters. Thankfully, NBC Universal and Hills Pet Nutrition are partnering to make that happen. Hills and NBC have gotten a million adopted, so we know we can do it. When you walk into a shelter, wait for that experience for the pet to pick you, because many, many times they will. Past that, the preparation is a big thing. Think about who you want in your home, who that ideal animal is that will match up to the energy level, to the cats and dogs in your home, kids, all of that, you know, how much time you have, and then we'll do the rest in terms of matching up. And then afterwards, Hills Pet Nutrition is going to send you home with an adoption pack when you do it. So you've got the beginnings with a starter pack of food and, and pet parenting tips, coupons, all of the rest. For more information, just go to hillscleartheshelters.com. KSA Entertainment believes in our communities. We value those who have dedicated their lives to enrich our own. KSA Entertainment is proud to introduce our corporate initiative, KSA Cares. KSA Cares shines a light, gives a voice, and lends a helping hand through compelling awareness initiatives. From supporting veterans to environmental awareness, KSA Entertainment is proud to produce content supporting ways to help communities all across America. Welcome back to Daily Flash. A Florida party girl turns out to be the only hope for the NASA space program after a fluke puts her into training. This is today's must-watch movie, Space Cadet. Once upon a time, I had bigger dreams. I see a girl. Three, look, look. two, one. That's gonna be you one day, Rex. I know it, Mom. But sometimes, life doesn't always work out the way you planned. Yo, yo. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> Ten years ago, I got lost. Last call, everybody, last call! But it's not too late. I'm gonna be an astronaut. <gasps> oh my god. We come again? Dear NASA. No, girl. This resume will never get you in, but let's make a few changes that will. Dear NASA, I've accomplished everything I've ever wanted. Dr. Tiffany Simpson, you have been selected for astronaut training. I'm gonna be an astronaut! Johnson Space Center. I'm actually here. Dr. Stacy Kellogg, MD, PhD. Mancini, Captain Jack. Violet Marie Veslovsky. We have a special name for astronaut candidates, Astans. <laughs> what? <laughs> <coughs> Over the next nine weeks, you will be trained and tested. Most of you will not pass. Mama, is that an astronaut? Not with my tax dollars, she's not. Are we sure Dr. Simpson belongs here? We need unconventional candidates. She built a series of gates to protect the manatees from speedboats. When we were kids, you inspired me. You took everything out about my resume being made up and said it wasn't made up. Get your ass back home before you hurt somebody. I was born to do this. Once you let your dreams out of the box, you can't just shove them back in. Seven, two, three, you're clear for takeoff. Punch it, Flamingo. <laughs> Or what? <laughs> that looks 
cute. <laughs> it does look fun there too. Uh, you know, I think uh, uh, you know, if it gets girls excited about space okay, and engineering right, too, I think absolutely. that could help out as well. So. The other one I'm looking forward to is Fly Me to the Moon on that. Apple TV with Scarlett Johansson and Channing Tatum. She plays a PR rep and she's got a stage what looks like a landing on the moon in case things don't go 100% oh, right. Really? Yeah. Like so, a period yeah. thing? Yeah, like it looks in, great. Cool. Yeah, well, that does it for our show. Thank you so much for joining us. Y'all take care. Be good. We'll see you.